Yo, YouTube, what's going on, guys? So, new content today. I'm here to bring it to you, and you know where we always start in the shop. Now, I want you guys to talk to not talk about something. If you see I'm wearing a white shirt, if you see my nipples, okay, don't say anything, all right? People on stream are weird about that. Um, now I'm gonna see in my comments, I'm gonna see if the hashtag free the nipple. First of all, on deck pack two has some gems in there. Prime Araldis Chapman with pretty good control and nasty pitch breaks with an absolute meta mix outlier one and two a must cop i'm glad i have over a million stubs Vinny castilla cruise team merchant getting max power on that team with an extra five speed making him 65 plays third and shortstop but he'll be an elite third baseman with those numbers could could quirks too fun card i love me some Vinny castilla good blunt rating too chili davis i love me some chili we never get a great chili uh, actually, that's not true. We got the Retro Finest one that was solid. This one looks all right. Actually, a, a, a decent defender. Not in center field. I, I wish he was a primary like left or right fielder. But actually serviceable out there. Doesn't fit any meta team, but he is a God Squad demon. And if you want to get real crazy, uh, Carlos Santana captain does give him a nice boost. I believe eight contact to right, ten to left. That does turn him into an absolute freak. Uh, Yuli Gurriel, who if he got this card now, this card would be insane. But because uh, it's an old car that they copy and paste, he just, I don't really understand why they do this. He doesn't really fit because 88 contact for a 99 is just never going to play. So um, unfortunate, but whatever. Robbie Ray, retro finest from 2021, which is funny to me. Retro to three years ago, but decent control. Uh, pretty decent breaks. Not anything too wowy, you know, no outlier. Uh, pitch mix is okay. He's going to get the penalty to his accuracy that you get from having 99 Vila without having outlier. Um, but he does have a good mix probably like a mid-tier starter solid pack otherwise you get two free captain packs got up to i have 10 extra now they're just slow dripping it out which is fine uh headliner stays the same which is surprising and no new season awards again so we have to grind um chase pack stays the same on to programs i see oh they did it dude they did the postseason series mm, they didn't announce that I put out a tweet about that. Let me do it. Wow, they really did it. We have so much content to grind for. Oh my God. We'll start with season three awards drop six. 97 Kevin Alcantara. Carol Merchant. A really good one for a free card. Not for nothing. Jackson Job. Uh, he looks like a really grown up version of Dustin from Stranger Things. Uh, Gaten Matarazzo. No outlier. Interesting. I thought it'd be better. Jonah Bride. First base. Oh yikes well uh if there's a righty on the mound he's solid damn he could have been really nice too uh with those positions L lenin sosa is insane second baseman <laughs> wow that's a really good free card okay someone to keep in mind nick martinez four seam circle change cutter sinker 12 6 curve with elite control and pitch breaks and he bats lefty a lefty team demon i had no clue he bats lefty definitely a must cop now on to lightning Julio Rodriguez, who is a Cruz and Corbin team merchant, but also really damn good on his own. To me, he's solid both teams, but I would go with Corbin to get that extra vision boost and the reaction boost and contacts to make him absolutely a freak. Has all the good quirks you need offensively. Dead red breaking ball hitter and bad ball hitter. All, he, doesn't, he just doesn't have first pitch hitter, but that's fine. Really good collection. I'm not a huge Julio Rodriguez swing fan, but it is what it is. Tigers versus Strohs. 99 hunter brown four seam sinker cutter change knuckle curve with negative two control on this pitches individually but really good pitch breaks okay uh and then 99 andy ibanez who is a pinch hitter all the way through and he even has the quirk for it okay tigers fans in the trenches with that but if it's clutch uh royals versus orioles 99 cedric mullins who misses corbin by one speed you animals not a hot start, but still, he's honestly a good card on his own. I'm just talking crazy shit, but he's honestly a good card on his own. And the 99, Lucas Urkig, Ur, is that how you say his name? With sinker four-seam slider change, really good pitch breaks, and outlier sinker. Very good, and a lefty team merchant too. Welcome to the squad, Lucas. Braves versus Padres program, Aaron Bummer, 99. Oh, another Aaron Bummer. Oh my God. He was my favorite reliever with 45 stam. Wow, that's a good one. 99, Miguel Haris. Oh, he's crazy good. Oh, he's so good on, on his own, on Cruz, on Carroll. 
I'd probably use him on Carol, but still. Wow, he's beautiful. And then 99, Kyle Higashi. What? <laughs> Miguel Haris is so much better, bro. But the yeah, Higgy's still, that's crazy. There's a good Higgy like that. Uh, on to the big boy, Mets versus Brewers. 99, Jake Bowers, who's going to have pinch hitter. Absolutely. Uh, 99, Jackson Churio, a Corbin team merchant and just standalone demon. Really good card. And then 99, Pete Alonzo, who is mid. But he's honestly, he's, he's okay. He's okay. Uh, contact's a little low versus lefties, but I, I could do I could deal with that. Best card in the entire drop is Miguel Haris and then Jackson Churio. Probably, let me, Erkic is good. The pitchers are good. Cedric's not bad either. Let me take a look at um, Miguel Haris. Yeah, he might be the best one, to be honest, uh, hitter-wise at least. Oh, I don't know, Churio's pretty damn good too. They're both insane. Definitely good. I gotta get me my Pete Alonso all moments and submissions. You got to do it with the players of the team. So that's crazy. What a drop. What a drop. We're going to start with some moments here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to start with season awards. I think I'm going to go right in. Uh, we're going to do all the moments uh, from these. I think we'll, we'll do the moments. I'm going to show you guys the moments of the players that are in here, if they're here. Yeah, Hunter Brown and then Andy Abanez pitched two innings with Brown. Uh, okay, don't give a run strike out three batters. Okay, I can make that work. Let me... Hunter Brown is solid as well. Uh, pretty good drop. Some of the cards are a little bit more diet-y than I thought. And I think why that might be the case is because they're trying to differentiate between now early playoff cards and later on. Um, which is fine, I guess. Or maybe to distinguish from top performers from the top yeah. teams. I, I definitely think Pete Alonso should have been a little bit oh, better. One. But... Uh, yeah. Especially because he's the guy, right? Um, hey, some uh. of the final cards from this um from each thing doesn't really make sense like how uh michael harris yeah. is like so much better than um oh and two higashioka now i think the solution would probably be make um higashioka better not make uh make, i keep calling miguel hadis because that one time he had a face model looked spanish but um i think michael harris doesn't need to be worse i think Higgy could be just a little bit better but it feels like sometimes for certain players, they're willing to stretch the realm of possibility. Um, for sure. But again, all free cards. No season awards pack again. I'm assuming, if I had to guess, it's that they're trying to save players uh, in case, you know, they need no, for other releases. Ball. Or, you know, if you want to take the optimistic, less cynical angle, it's that yeah. they're trying to be more consumer friendly and not have to put so many of those cards one. in packs. But uh, I'm inclined to think the no, former. That missed. That's a ball. Just because uh, there is, even though it might not seem like it, there is a positive to the season awards pack, which is that two and two. Uh, people, if you if you want to finish the program without doing missions, you can. If you fork up the stubs, uh, I'm paying for time. Um, you know, uh, I'm paying to erase tedium while you make some stubbage. Some stubbage if people want to buy no stubs for that. Uh, but they, there's a two A or two B possibility, which is that they want to you know stretch out the season awards program and a way to do that is to not allow people to speed run it because if you were able to buy the cards you could finish it in literally two minutes you could finish it by buying the two major headliners uh the 299s in the pack oh servers are stroking out yeah i'm not gonna waste your time with the other cards because these aren't even in the program but uh we'll do andy abanez one extra base hit three rbis so i think we'll do all the headliners we'll do the cards that are in the program do their moments and we'll go back and we'll circle back to season awards and if there's a julio moment we'll do that and then pitch with nick martinez maybe if you guys want to see what they look like I don't know if people aren't as interested. This Andy Abanez is an elite lefty killer. Great swing, too. Well, so, you know, if you really want someone on the bench that you're comfortable with, right? Oh. That could play some positions. Because he's really good on defense, too, right? Yeah, really good defender. Plays third, first, second, short, and left field. And, and he's just going to get it done versus a lefty if you need him, right? Back one. Uh, I'm not quite sure what pinch hitter quirk does. I believe, from what I've heard, it makes your PCI a little bit bigger in a pinch hit situation. I just recreated that, but it didn't count because somehow you didn't score. This shows you how this game can never be real life. I just did exactly what Ibanez did, but it didn't wow. give me the same result because the field plays so much smaller and every outfielder is way too fast. Also, AI base running is so bad, but foul. Torkelson not only didn't make it to third or to make it home, he didn't make it to third base. That should get the job done. Oh, they're playing the ricochet. Wait a minute. You better get going, brother. Yeah, you're going to score. 
I wonder what they were thinking when they designed this park, but they were just like, why not? Anything goes. Great swing. Like I said, I like Ibani as a swing. Those are done. On to, we'll do, it's Cedric and Lucas. One at bat, hit a home run with Cedric Mullins. I hope Cedric Mullins bounces back next year. 30-30 season, like 280, 290 batting average. Just get back on track, man. I like the dude. I like his story. Uh, and, you know, I like the cards, man. Makes me think of MLB 21 very fondly. Oh, that's Cedric Mullins, all right. I forgot about his attributes for a second. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful card. I will... S oh, I was going to say Cedric fits the 30-30 team. No, he doesn't. He's the captain. <laughs> By the way, don't let my thoughts about how these guys do or don't fit captains uh, affect how you use cards. This is just how I think about it because I'm excited about captains, but don't take it too seriously. Pitch one inning, strike out one batter, do not give a run. I actually knew Lucas Urkic is a lefty Going hitter on. because... When I needed right. early, early in seasons when I had lefty boost oh, and I needed a reliever who's a righty thrower that's halfway decent to fill out the lefty role, uh, I put his live series in my bullpen. So I knew this. It looks a little readable, but I think it'll be just all right. Orioles went into the postseason really cold and they got dogged out, man. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Tigers went in like searing hot and look at them go, man. Uh, Miguel Haris, two hits. Yeah, I mean, Michael Harris went crazy. He went crazy, crazy. Nah, but the Braves, all, in all honesty, the Braves team really was just completely massacred by injuries. He has one of the best swings in the game. He hasn't had a card all year that's halfway decent, so he is going to be somebody I look to add to my team immediately. He's going to be added with the swiftness to both my Cruz team and my Carroll team. Yep. Wow. Great swing. I'll probably build a team of all of the cards and then use it that way. Wild card winners. It's going to be tough to get that team today without because a lot of it is mission grinding. I think the solution is really play the event, guys. That's why the event is stretching out for a while. I had my uh, speculation about that. I said originally I looked at the event and I said, nah, this is kind of dog. And then I went, wait a minute. This is a long event with a, with post all postseason eligibility. What's the reason for this? They want you to have a place to grind for missions um online to get all that done with players that are eligible for these programs so it makes sense to me it was only the only way it could be done if you wanted to use new cards in the missions right or, or in the event and it was a bummer moment right uh higashioka bummer is here but he doesn't have a moment interesting one extra base hit and one plate appearance i think it's interesting right it says he sparked the padres lineup with a homer in both games of the series playing as him hit an extra base hit maybe they don't think that people could pull it off with higashioka he had a moment a few years ago with a card that sucked because his Car wasn't that good, but Yankees legend. That trade really kind of worked out for both sides, not for nothing. For Yankees and the, and the Padres. Yankees got... Obviously, they got Juan Soto, but... Um, Padres dumped a large contract, which... It sucks that it was Soto. He's one of the best players in baseball, but... They got a very fine player in Michael King, who is an, an, a really nice arm, and then Higashioka, who has been... You know, maybe it didn't work out. It didn't look like it worked out really well for them all year up until this point. But Higashioka is one of the reasons why they, they, they made it through the playoffs first round, the wild card round so easily. So it's funny how that, that stuff works out, right? Hey. All right. Smoked. Are you going to make it to second base? 36 speed. You are running backwards, my brother. Unhook the trailer, Higgy. All right. MLB app says, check out the roster update. On to, uh, oh, a Jesse Winker moment. We have Jake Bowers, Churio, and Alonzo. So Churio hit a home run in his one plate appearance. He was a thorn in the Mets side. Yeah, I put a bet together uh, on the last game of the series, and I had, I felt Pete Alonzo's fairy tale finish. I put a home run there with him, and that's, I put uh, the money line, which was most half brain, half feel, and then Churio hit, which was the easiest line uh, I think I ever could have placed. Uh, easiest leg of a parlay, and he hit it immediately. First at bat, he got a hit, so... Um, that was super cool. Oh, that's a swing. I actually even texted my cousin. I could put up the screenshot here if we want. Uh, if, or I could just link the tweet or maybe JoJo could show my tweet, which is I, I even called it where it was a three run homer in my mind. I, I didn't I don't think I, I verbalized this, but I, I did in my mind envision it going to right center little off. I didn't state that one, but I think based off of my previous, you know, calls here, I, you can trust me on this one. I was off a little bit. I said early to mid game home run. And I will be totally honest here. You could swear to God on this one. Lie detector, trust me. I was going to originally say mid to late game home, game home run to my cousin. But then I was like, you know what? I don't want to sound too corny and like make it seem like he's going to be a hero. So I'll just, I'll go with early to mid game. But I was really thinking more mid game than late. Garrett Mitchell, no, no. Jake Bowers, an home run. 
Bro, the ball Jake Bowers hit. That guy's got stupid power. That was a change up middle away. Not a great pitch, not a bad pitch. That he one armed and lunged at it and he hit a nuke on it. And then Sal Freelick, BR legend, by the way, hit a piss missile. The way that momentum can turn players into different kinds of players when the when the lights are shining bright is crazy to me, right? The way that it could just transform people um, and like how things happen. And I'll give you an example. So my buddy Chris uh, was, uh, we've been friends our whole life pretty much since like fourth grade. Uh, he was on, we, we were on the same vi uh, varsity high school baseball team together. We played outfield together. He was center, I was right field. He That's had right. never hit a home run in high school that we've played. He'd never had a home run all season. Didn't, hasn't hit one. Against Devin Smelter, who's in the league now. I don't know if he's still in majors, but he, he's been in and out of the majors. He was on uh, Saint, uh, Bishop Eustis. We played them. 0-2 in the count after swinging at a fastball above his head and then a curveball that bounced seven feet in front of the plate. It was 0-2. He gets a, like a slider slash slurve low right not by, at even close to being a strike lunges at it right like this and goes one arms it grabs it off the ground barrels it seed first career home run in college to give us the lead to right center field and that just caused the snowballing effect then we started getting confidence to do whatever we wanted we had guys we were pretty good bunters and one of our rules in our team was that we had anybody no matter how good of a hitter you were or how much power you had or what your role was on the team you were you needed to know how to bunt and you had to utilize that skill sometimes we had our, our catcher who was a power hitter bunting we had our first base was a power hitter laying down bunts we were we were slashing we were hitting and running we did a slash i was slashing hit and run with a guy on first stealing and I hit a fastball up and away above my head like this. Not even trying to hit it hard. Went like this off smelter. Absolute rocket piece off the left center wall. Like we were just doing shit. And I, why am I telling you guys this? The whole reason is that when you hit playoff time and like we're in that moment, you get guys like David Freeze who were just demons. Rajai Davis type home runs. Just out of your body type experiences. And it's super cool to see. Uh, Jake Bauer's home run is not really like that. But Sal Freelick hitting a nuke too. It's like what? But then you have instances like the Mets, right? Where their top three players did what they needed to do in a big situation. Now, you're wondering why I can't do this with Bowers. Good swing, ridiculously low vision, not a fan. It affects your ability to keep the ball fair or foul. Uh, timing of pitches, not a fan of low vision cards. Uh, uh, that ball should leave. That's max power. Boom, cool. Good swing though on the card. But yeah, man, thinking about that stuff was really crazy. Just things that you never really expected to see. Guys who execute their roles perfectly, who are always ready for the job. Like we had a guy, we had guys, uh, one of my friends in high school, he was a, he had sometimes play, but he was the fourth outfielder, but his role was essentially to play really good defense late in games and to steal bases and get on base and run for people if need, if need be, run for the catcher. Our catcher gets on base in a state game, we're down by one. Uh, our, he gets a hit, so it's second and first. We already have a fast guy on second. The new pinch runner comes in, he runs for the catcher, is on first. Then we hit another base hit and he scores by a smidge of a ball hair because he was a really good base runner and really fast and was always ready to do his job. There is just nothing like the postseason, man, in any capacity. Like just, you just, oh, it's just adrenaline. We made the postseason one time in my college career, my senior year, and we lost immediately, but like, it was still nice to play. Now here it is, the, the crescendo of the uh, experience here with these playoff cards. Pete Alonso versus Devin Williams. We're already reliving it, and that's how it should be. Shout out to MLB The Show for doing this real time. The last two years of MLB The Show, the playoff program has missed big time because it's been a week, week and a half late, and it just doesn't have the same relevance. Postseason's all about the here and the now. Thank you for dropping this immediately after, and you did a really good job if you ask me. So shout out to them for that. Got to give them their flowers. Uh, that was not how it went yesterday, but I'll take it. I usually don't do shit with Pete Alonso. He will be on the Mets theme team, which is now looking pretty damn good and just got a little bit better. All right. Um, and we're going to, well, we're going to restart the game after we finish these moments, but we're going to go into the season awards. I'm not going to keep any longer than I've already have, but I've had some fun so far. And we'll go and we'll do um, Lenin Sosa, one extra base hit, uh, Nick Martinez, and then Julio Rodriguez. So we'll go through. I'll show you all the cards that are prominent. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of them. You guys have to leave a little bit to the uh, imagination until you guys get your chance to play. Cool card art, J-Rod. Shout out to him for popping off, man. He had a really tough start to the season, but he finished pretty strong. So uh, we need extra base hit with Lenin Sosa. Bright spot in the White Sox season so far. We're getting this card. Very nice. That should be an extra base hit. He runs decently well. 
White Sox theme team has been absolutely struggling for anything decent. They need to get more legends, the White Sox. I mean, they got Ray Durham, who was a really good one for 22, and then lost him after one year. So get him back. Add some Jermaine Die types. You know, A.J. Pruszynski. You can get even crazy with, like, a Joe Creedy. Scott Pitsednik. Game is struggling. I'm sure after one game closure, like the game reload itself, I'll be all right. But we don't got the time for that. Uh, Nick Martinez. Uh, I think I'm going to pass on that one. I think you guys could probably guess. He's, he's pretty good. He's BR guy. Good pitch mix. I'm not really going to... I don't feel like pitching an inning. I'm just going to hit with J-Rod. <laughs> Sorry, I don't feel like doing pitching moments right now. I hope you guys understand. But I will be building my team and just running events. Although, honestly, even though events make it easier to build your team for this, right? Like, it's you're probably better off doing it against CPU. You could just farm stats better. I do not like J-Rod's stance. He is balanced. Yeah, I'm not a J-Rod guy at the plate. Just feels like it'd be really uncomfortable to hit a sinker with him. That was kind of gross. What do I have to do with him? I had a home run. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen on that swing. This actually looks a lot more palatable of a swing than he used to have, which is fine. Is this what it's been all year? I just haven't used J-Rod, or do they change it? I don't think I've used the J-Rod card all year, so... That was a pretty decent swing. Can that drop in on the right field line? No. Good swing, though. Oh, uh, yep, that's going to be the case. No lift. He doesn't got that, he doesn't got that, uh, like, Griffey-type launch angle, the Seeger type I feel like guys like this either pull the ball away too quickly or get jammed, and there's no in-between. Just not easy to hit with. Yeah, ew. I mean, crazy good pitch, but... I have to redo oh. this. I don't think I could see myself using him. There's too many good cards right now. I'm not benching Bernie for him right now. There we go. Finally. Oh, God, j right abusive. Whoa. That should be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. And I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Just a uh, absolutely crazy day for a movie the show. They did their thing. I'll catch you guys uh, soon, all right? Peace.